I must admit, this one's got a pretty gold thing going on here. This is for the hipsters. It's, it's got the uh, kind of the I don't know I don't know what you call that the kind of retro kind of look. It looks looks quite nice as well. The colour's quite nice. I think people quite like that one. That's uh, aimed at a younger market. That one, I would say. So I think that would like appeal to a lot of young teenage girls. <laughs> pretty cigarettes. <laughs> It's very pretty. I'd probably buy that if I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so why super slim then? This is more for young people. This one's really colourful and quite girly. I, I really like the colours on it. It looks quite pretty. Super thin. E elegant, I suppose. For adult consumption only. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the ones, the ones are the, like the the brighter colours, the nice more packaging. They're kind of it's more of a it's selling an idea of what yeah. cigarettes is. It's used like the old fashioned, the classy Marilyn Monroe kind of. Smoking is seen as um, sort of cool and something that adults do anyway. But I mean, I think the packaging probably definitely help in that respect. Doesn't look. Too nice. Definitely a lot more sort of dull. It's a horrible green colour. Definitely put people off. You're not going to be sort of drawn to it if you're sort of sitting on the fence or if you're you're not really too bothered about it. Yeah. And, it and it looks horrible, so they just stopped buying that brand. So I'm sure it's effective. I can understand why the cigarette industry is not very keen on it. It's not very appealing, is it? Charlotte Edwards and I'm lead professional um, for underage sales and product safety for Kent Trading Standards. Um, Kent Trading Standards supports um, the idea of plain packs, um, as do I personally um, support the idea of plain packs. Um, there's no evidence to suggest that actually it would increase illicit tobacco or counterfeit tobacco. Um, the marks that are already used on current packs can be used um, on the plain packaging as well. Um, that, that wouldn't create an issue for us, um, so we don't have any concerns in that area. Um, in terms of um, the actual packs themselves, there's currently a display ban, um, so obviously um, tobacco's banned from being um, shown in shops at point of sale, um, and as far as we're concerned, plain packs then just supports that um, by once those um, items are removed from sale and they're sort of on the table at home, um, they're, they're plain pack and they're not um, sort of appealing to young children. My name is Meriden Peachy, I'm the Director of Public Health and I support plain packaging because it removes the hidden advertising and it will remove the, one of the reasons why young people smoke and I'm really keen to see less young people smoke. My name is Graham Gibbons and I'm the Cabinet Member for Adult Social Care and Public Health at Kent County Council. I support plain packaging because I want to see the health of people across this country improve and especially young people. Um, there is too much evidence of the damage being done to young people's health because they start smoking. I want to see that stop.